Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys checking out today's video. I really appreciate that. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about some things you can do if you're only catching small fish. Like if you get into an area where everything you catch is little or it doesn't matter what you're doing, it just seems like you can just catch little ones. I've got some tips and advice to give you guys today that's gonna to help that out a little bit. Um, also guys, I just wanted to remind you real quick, I didn't know if you heard about it, but I've got a new site on Tackle Warehouse that Tackle Warehouse has created for me called Blockett's Corner. And every month in Blockett's Corner, I'm gonna be listing what I think the best lures are for each month and include in a correlating video about how to fish those lures I talk about. And if you guys would like to check that out, I'll put the, uh, the Tackle Warehouse Blockett's Corner link in the description of this video. You guys could check that out and uh, we really appreciate that, much appreciated. Okay guys, I think we've all been in this. It's like when you get out there and it's like, it, it's just all, all you can catch is dinks. Like the one I got in the thumbnail here, or you know, you're catching eight inches, 10 inches, or something like that. And it doesn't seem what, that anything that you do doesn't seem to work. Now, there's a couple of different things that you can do to sort of, you know, offset that. And a lot of it just depends on the variables at the time, the conditions, the water temperature, the, you know, lake level, all that type of deal. But here's a general rule of thumb. If you get into this trend or you get out on the lake and you have a day where you, all you can catch little ones, there's a couple of different things you can do. First of all, um, there's, there, in my opinion, rather even more important than your bait selection, it's the depth that you're fishing. So let's say, for example, you're fishing down a, a, a rocky bank and you're throwing uh, a shallow running crankbait, you know, something like that. Um, and then you think, well, man, like you're throwing a little small shallow run crank, but you say, well, I need to upsize my lure. So you put on a bigger spinner bait or you put a bigger crank bait on, or maybe, you know, you put a chatter bait on something that you feel is going to trigger bigger fish to bite. And for some reason, you're still catching little ones. Even, even if you upsize your bait, most of the time you're either fishing in the wrong depth or you're fishing in the wrong part of the lake or the same, or the, or the wrong part of structure or a combination of the three. So let's say, for example, I pull, you know, a long stretch of rocky bank and, you know, with a smaller crankbait, like a little, you know, small square bill or something like that, and I'm only catching little ones. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to come back down through there. And I'm at first, I'm going to try either a different color or different bait just to see. And if that doesn't work, and I really think that there's some more, I think there's a lot of fish using this bank, but I just haven't figured it out. Then I may back off there a little bit and I'll throw a deeper diving crankbait. You know, if I was fishing one that was getting down to three or four feet, I'll try one that's getting into, you know, eight or 10 foot on the same area. Maybe those bigger fish are down a little bit deeper. Um, sometimes I'll try a completely different lure category. So let's say that I've been, you know, catching a bunch of little ones on a small crankbait. I know there's a lot of fish there. Sometimes I'll go super big. I'll go to like a really loud, aggressive, like a big buzz bait or a whopper plopper or something like that. Something that's really loud and obnoxious. Sometimes that will work, but most of the time it's a depth consideration. Now, if you move out to a deeper stretch, so let's say you went, you pulled down this, you went down this stretch of rocky bank or riprap and you caught five or six little ones. And then you go back through there with a deeper diving crankbait or a jig or shaky head and you don't catch anything. That's when I move. And the, what I usually do with that is I usually do, there's two considerations. I wanna change the area of the lake and I wanna look for a different water clarity. So say for example, if I was catching a lot of smaller ones, you know, in a halfway back in a major creek arm, I may move out to the main lake and try some options out there. And um, if that doesn't work, I may move down the lake five or 10 miles and I try to get into a different type of water clarity. If I was fishing, you know, a place that's got two foot of water clarity, um, I may move down the lake to a place that I've got four foot of clarity and try a different technique. But it's been my experience. When you are, when you get on something where you're just catching little ones after little ones after little ones um, over and over again, you need to make a move. It's like I, there's been some times I've been able to move out a little deeper, like we talked about and catch them. I'm not saying you can't do that because you can sometimes. Most of the time, you're gonna have to move into a different type of area because the bigger fish always set up on the premium cover. So if you pull, if you go through, like let's say you go back down that rocky bank I'm talking about and you get to lay down tree, which is a prime piece of cover for a bass and you still catch a little one there, that's a good indication there's this, there's not many big fish or good fish on that area if the little ones are using the the, uh, hit the premium cover that's available on that. So, 
Best, best things to remember, guys, to keep it short, either change your depth you're fishing, change the area of the lake, change your lure category completely. Um, just flip-flop the opposite end of it until you figure out what those want. Because every single day, guys, there is a place on the lake every day, 365 days of the year, where the better fish are biting. And it's just a matter of hunting them down and experimenting to see what color they want of lure, the profile, the speed of retrieve, all that type of stuff. But if I, over my experience, I mean, if I get on to a deal where I'm just catching little ones, I'm usually out of there for the most part. I, if I'm just fun fishing and I don't have a lot on the line, I'm, I may experiment a little bit and try to figure out how to catch a bigger one. But more than not, that doesn't work. And most of the time, I just pull the trolling motor up and get get out of there and get to a different area. So anyway, guys, hope that helps out. We'll talk later.